So that, oh, that's really syrupy. <gasps> oh, I have to sneeze. I'm Good morning, friends. It is uh, the Monday, June 3rd, and clearly I'm at school. And I have a lot to catch you up on, so this may be like a slightly longer like clip, and I apologize, but I have been vlogging for the past three weeks, but it's just been so choppy. Like I would say I'll talk to you guys in the morning and I won't talk to you, or I'll talk to you guys later in the day and I won't vlog until the next morning. And I just, it didn't flow well, wasn't happy with the footage and all that stuff. So because of that, I have a lot to catch you up on this morning. That way you have an idea of what I am talking about. It is currently 6.45. I've been at school for probably about 10 minutes. Um, I had a sub on Friday, but I will explain all of that. But real quick, I do need to fe feed my fish because I haven't fed him since Thursday because that was the last time I was here. I need to turn on my lights. So give me one second. So what have I been up to? Um, I've been teaching. Now, it is the end of the year. It is crazy. My kids move on to middle school next year, so I just have a lot to plan as far as like end of the year celebrations, end of the year awards, all of that good stuff. They're moving up ceremony, everything. And I am not stressed yet, but I am slightly overwhelmed. Uh, but I have been just taking the end of the year to enjoy the time with my kids. My time is winding down with them and I get super, like I wanna cry right now. I get super emotional just thinking about it. Um, I love this group of kids, like love, including my new student that I got like two or three weeks ago. He's been an awesome addition. Like I just, I love my kids. Um, so first things first, I started something called an ABC celebration, ABC countdown. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. I don't call it a countdown because I hate countdowns. I feel like it like, I don't know. I just feel like it makes them feel like I don't want them here and it's like not the case at all. So I have chosen to celebrate their growing up, their next chapter in life, all of that sweet, emotional, sappy stuff that I'm not really good at, but I am feeling it with this group. So I'm gonna turn this around real quick and I will show you what I did for my kids. As you can see, we've gotten through most of these, but um, I sent home this calendar with parents. This is their ABC celebration. A was animal day, so they could bring a stuffed animal. Buddy, re buddy reading day, they brought in a picture book from home. Compliment day, dodgeball day. We play dodgeball, it rained, so we only had like 10 minutes. Experiment day, they did not get this day due to poor behavior. Finger painting day, their fin finger painting masterpiece is right up there. Game day, we did this in conjunction with second grade because she did um, kind of borrow this ABC celebration idea and we played game, games in my classroom with second grade and it was so much fun. Um, happiness day, their goal was to spread smiles. We had no school on Memorial Day. Ice cream day, I had a parent that brought in ice cream and cones and cherries, whipped cream, everything. GME day did not happen because we had our dare picnic. So I have to reschedule this one. We did have kickball day. We did not have lunch bunch day because I was not here. Today is mismatch day, which I didn't do because let's be honest, I hate not matching. Uh, tomorrow is nickname day. Wednesday is Ublek day. So I read um, Dr. Seuss's Bartholomew and the Ublek and I brought stuff in to make that. Thursday is pop day, so popcorn and popsicles. Quiz day, so I'm gonna pick out some fun cahoots. I've had a couple students asking for like a soccer one, one about me, etc. so I'm gonna work on that. Rainbow day, wear your favorite color of the rainbow. Summer birthdays day, I let parents bring in treats, I bring in treats. Uh, thank you teacher day, so they're gonna write thank you letters and notes to their favorite teachers. Share your favorite memories from here. It's unforgettable day, visitors day, I'm gonna have the parents come in. Walk day, we're gonna walk the nature trail if it's not raining, because we do have um, a nature trail that kind of goes out through our um, our woods back there. Extra recess day, year end cleaning day, so clean your desk cubbies and help clean the classroom today. And then Z day, there are zero days left, so zip up your backpack and zoom out of here. So that's really just been like the biggest thing that's been going on. Oh, I'm trying to fix you. Uh, that's just really been the biggest thing that's been going on. The kids love it. Um, like I said, I did have to take one day away for poor behavior. I got observed, um, I think it was Monday. One second. Hey, honey. I'm at school. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so 
I forget where I was. Um, oh yeah, so they didn't have experiment day and I did not want to take any of the ABC celebration stuff away from them, but their behavior was just, it was so embarrassing. I, like I said, I was being observed that day, or like I started to say, I was being observed that day. So it was just, it was bad, you guys. Like, it was terrible. Um, they were out of control. They were loud. They were disruptive. They were rude. Um, it took probably 45 minutes to do a 20 minute lesson just because there were so many interruptions and it's not like them. And the saddest part is she was like, Oh, that was a great lesson. Your kids were great. And I was like, they were terrible. Like, that's not how my students typically are. Like they're normally just so on it and they're so respectful and they listen. And it's just, it made me feel good that she thought it was still like a really good day because I was like, I, I went home in tears for the first time this school year. Uh, that was by far our worst day this entire school year, which if we made it until the end, or I guess it was mid-May at the time, um, if we made it until, hold on, I can tell you the exact date. If we made it until May 20th, for the crappy day, I guess I can take that because um, it, it really was just our worst day all year. Okay, I was not here on Friday. I'm not gonna lie, I took a mental health day. I just found myself getting really short with the kids. I was, I had no patience, I was tired. I was just starting to feel kind of burnt out, but not from teaching, just from end of the year stuff. I mean, this time of year is crazy. If you're a teacher, you know. So I just, I decided to take the day. It was probably the only day that I was able to take off without missing too much. Um, so I enjoyed it. I slept in a little bit. We took my boyfriend's son to school, which he was really excited about because I never get to take him to school because he goes to school in the same district. So I'm already at work by the time he has to go. So we took him to school and I worked for my boyfriend a little bit, sanding a house. And I took a two hour nap. I read a book. I cooked. I cleaned. I rearranged my living room. Like it was just a good day. And then the rest of the weekend was your normal stuff. I think I went to the gym Saturday. Yesterday we fixed my deck because there were a couple rotted boards and literally they were like non existent. Like they just rotted away. Um, so my boyfriend fixed those. I got some stuff done. We made chili. It was just, it was a good weekend. I brought two giant, I brought my two sea bags, um, which if you don't know what sea bags are, they are bags made here in Maine. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Um, they're made from like recycled sails and I have one with a black lab and one with an anchor. And I brought both of those in today because end of the year checkout is coming up. Um, and I have a lot of like teacher editions at home because I take stuff home and I don't ever bring it back. So I have a bag full of like three teacher editions that I've had at work or I've had at home. So brought those back. So that, oh, that's really syrupy. In preparation for the coming days, um, for Ooblick Day, I bought a couple containers of cornstarch. I figured the kids can do it in partners or they can make their own. I think I'm going to go to the dollar store and get some uh, food storage containers. That way they can take it home. And there's that. I also picked up ooh, some neon food coloring for when they make their oobleck, which I need to hide all of this because I've told them we're only reading the book. Um, and then I picked up some Hello My Name Is labels. Tomorrow is nickname day. And if we look, it allows them to choose a new nickname to be called all day. So I thought it would just be fun. Um, I thought it would just be a fun little, you know, touch to add this. That way they have to be called that all day. I think mine is going to be Mother Hen Morrow. My kids call me that as it is. Um, it's a very long, very, very long story. But they do call me Mother Hen Morrow. So I think that's just going to be my name. And I'm going to tell them that it has to be appropriate, but it can be funny. I don't care what it is as long as it is appropriate. I picked up a hand soap because we have been out for like a month and a half and with Ooblack and all that stuff coming up, I figure we probably should have some soap. So there's my sub plans. Oh, our lunch menu. Awesome. Okay. So, um, one activity that I did, and I'm actually going to sit here and read them, uh, while I was out is how to survive the school year with Miss or how to survive the year with Miss Morrow. I did not come up with this idea. Um, I got this from my friend Meg, her username was pizza and planning. Um, I think it's top marks right now or something like that, but I will link um, her Instagram down below. Uh, so it's just advice from, and it just says help Miss Morrow's students not only survive, but also thrive next year. Give them any tips you think will help them be successful. It asks for five tips about me and then a letter to my new students. Now I can already tell my students wrote like two sentences down here. So I think we're going to redo this because I'm not like, 
I wanted them to fill this space. I wasn't here to tell them that, uh, but they also should know better. So they are currently working on designing a water park. Um, I got this from Divide and Conquer. I will link this down below. It's on TPT. It was super cheap. Little, like, and when I say no prep, I mean no prep. Like, it literally was just super easy, and the kids are loving the crap out of this. Um, I did copy it front to back and I put, uh, there's two staples. There's one right there and there's one right there. So our copier does staples. I don't have to do it. Uh, so I did put it into a book. Uh, my kids were doing it in math and they're not understanding, but they, like, if you look ahead, there is a lot, um, of math that comes into it, but it's kind of sort of STEM ish. I mean, there's designing and there's math and there's engineering and all of that stuff. And so that, oh, that's really syrupy. Like I've said already in the last 15 minutes, um, my last couple weeks vlogs were very choppy. Um, they weren't very fluent and I would say that I would talk to you guys later and I never did. So I'm gonna do my best to keep up with vlogging this week. It's just end of the year is insane. Every day I have something after school or something comes up and it's just been absolutely nutty, but I'm gonna do my best to be more routine with you guys. I finally got into a groove um, with uploading and editing during the week and then uploading Saturday morning. Like it felt really good and then I just lost it in May. Like May just fell apart. Um, but I'm really hoping to get back into that routine for you guys. So with that being said, I have been talking for 16 minutes. I am done because I have to talk for the next like six, seven, eight, hours however long we're in school so I will talk to you guys later today hopefully I actually stick to my word for once if not I will talk to you guys first thing in the morning hey you guys so um, it's 7 15 I just sat here and read um, these how to survive with Miss Mara things that my kids did when I was out on Friday and some of them like made me tear up um, some of them are just really funny. So I'm gonna read you some of my favorite ones. One of them with the letter, it says, Miss Mara is a serious but kind person. She'll only give punish punishments if needed. She listens to people's ideas and answers and then gives opinions. She will also let you be goofy, but under control. You do have to know when to stop. Miss Mara does not like you being, does not like you not listening, being disrespectful, talking over her, and bad reports from substitutes. The rest is a surprise. Be excited to find out. So I thought that was wicked cute. Um. I think every single one mentions my love of dogs, tacos, and races, and the color teal. Like, not exaggerating, every single kid wrote those down. Um, one of them just says, she enjoys quiet jokes and she loves rummy, in parentheses, the card game. She loves hugs, just don't hug her too hard, her back is fragile. <laughs> These are so good. She likes hiking and going on road trips, and she loves her coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Uh, this one really made me smile though. It says, Dear coming in, dear incoming fifth graders, you all should be excited for fifth grade. Miss Mara is an amazing teacher. She has hugs that can hold you when you're down. And here are some tips. Don't talk over her when she's speaking. When she asks you to do something, do it and have fun. You only get fifth grade once. And I thought that that was a really, really sweet sentiment. Uh, she loves tacos, dogs, and teal, especially her <laughs> Reese's. She loves to teach. Um, and a couple have mentioned that I'm not a textbook teacher. Um, and my kids say that all the time and I think some teachers would take offense to that but I don't because I hate textbooks. Um, I rather teach with like project-based like inquiry-based learning. Um, I try to really just involve them in their learning and textbooks don't do that. I know sometimes they are essential and I understand that and I use them for those essential points but really I'm not a textbook teacher. My kids know that. They are proud of that and thankfully they have accepted that and they actually really do appreciate it because one day like one of them randomly just thanked, literally thanked me in the middle of a lesson for not being a textbook teacher. Hello, it is after school and I'm actually vlogging for you guys for the first time in weeks after school so I'm really excited. Today was a really great day. My kids were a little hyper, a little chatty but it's really nice out. Close to 70 degrees which for here is amazing so they were just a little worked up but that's okay. Today we tested, I, we did makeup testing. Um, we started scripts for a movie that they're gonna create and we read. It was kind of a chill day just because I do have so many kids that had a makeup testing. I had six that had to do tests. So it was just kind of a chill, do what we need to do kind of day. But uh, on the way home, I think I need to stop at Walmart. I'm waiting for my boyfriend to write me back. Uh, his son really wanted taco or taco tacos um nachos for dinner tonight for some reason so i offered to stop and make them but i haven't heard anything back but speaking of nachos and tacos my amazing 
EdTech got me this super cute lanyard um, and I just I love it so I put my keys on this one and she also picked me up this super amazing water bottle so I'm pretty stoked about that uh, but yeah I have four minutes until I can leave so I'm gonna start getting ready I already shut my lights off and I um, shut off my Christmas lights around the fish tank and all that good stuff uh, tonight is or today is my boyfriend's mom's birthday so I think we're going there for dinner and cake oh so we're not doing nachos we'll do nachos tomorrow um so I'm going there for dinners dinner and I keep saying dinners dinner and cake and just to kind of spend some time with her so I am gonna get packed up and get out of here and I will see you guys first thing bright and early tomorrow morning good morning you guys it is Tuesday June something June 4th. Oh, I need to charge my watch. Uh, it is June 4th and clearly I'm at school. Scatter room as always. I brought my watch charger with me because I can't survive without my Apple watch and I forgot to charge it last night. So I figured I would bring the charger with me today. That way, you don't have to worry about having a dead watch. That's not charging. Uh, today is Tuesday. So, today, our nurse uh, is coming in during our normal math block, and she will be talking to the kids about ticks and mosquitoes because we have a major tick problem here. Um, Maine is just known for really bad tick seasons, and it's been so bad that I... I am not exaggerating when I say this, like literally zero exaggeration. Uh, we have found at least one tick every single day this year, whether on a student or crawling around the classroom. One was found on a desk last week. Um, yesterday when I went to open my exterior classroom door, there was one right next to the door handle about, I'd say right about my eye level. Uh, so it's just, it's crazy. She's just going to talk to them about different kinds of ticks and how prevalent they are and uh, deer ticks versus um, dog ticks and Lyme and then mosquitoes and malaria and all that good stuff. Uh, just that way they're aware and they're prepared because like I said, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, then after that, we're going to work on our water park thing. And this afternoon, I don't know what we're doing. I need to figure that out because yesterday was a free for all in here. Um, I had kids making up testing, which I probably will do again today uh, just because they gotta get this done. So we have today and tomorrow, Wednesday we have a field trip. Friday, I don't remember what we have going on Friday. Um, I don't remember what, what we've got going on Friday, but we do have stuff going on. And then, Sorry, the syrup like just drips out. Um, and I wonder why I end up sick. That's just pure sugar and I can't have white sugar. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. And then Friday, we have something going on Friday but I don't remember what it is. And then next week is just part of my language but kind of crapshoot because there is literally something going on every single day. It's gonna be nuts. But today, is nickname day for our ABC celebration. So I bought these uh, Avery name badge labels. And each kid will get one of these. I'm gonna give them one and I'm gonna tell them you have until specials time, which is at 8.55, to come up with your nickname. And I will call you that all day. It has to be school appropriate. I don't care what it is, as long as it's appropriate. And that's their nickname for the day. So it'll be a good time. I am going to uh, <clears throat> have these at their seat ready to go. That way they can just pass around the marker and they can write it down. So I'm going to sit here, listen to music, and get as much done as I can before my kids come at 8.30. And I will talk to you guys later today. Alexa, pause. Hello, friends. Uh, clearly, I am home. But uh, at least I'm vlogging for you. So I stopped at Dollar Tree on my way home. I want to show you a couple of the things that I picked up. Cam, leave it. You don't need it. He's trying to get, I have a ball of his over here. So this is their toy chest. It is overflowing and he wants this one ball. You don't need it, baby. Hey, you don't need it. Leave it. 
Yes, I'm talking to you. You don't need it, I promise. Really? And you're just gonna stand there and stare at it? How pathetic are you? <laughs> anyway, so anyway, focusing. What I wanted to show you, oh, I have to sneeze. I'm sure that face was gorgeous and Oh, I can only imagine how that facial expression went. Stop being Mr. Dramatic. Come here. Stop being dramatic. You don't need it. <laughs> um, so I stopped at Dollar Tree because tomorrow is Ublek Day. So my kids are making slime slash Ublek. And I had to stop at Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up four of these Betty, I mean, I'm sorry, three of these Betty Crocker Easy Seal containers. They're not like overly large but uh, there's an extra one, so I only needed three of these. I also picked up 14 of these clear cups from Dollar Tree. I only got lime green and teal. They had pink and red as well, but these are the two colors that I got. And I'm going to get white holographic vinyl, and I'm going to put their name uh, down this side. And I'm gonna stick some end of the year things in these for them. So I'm really excited about those. I also picked one up for my ed tech and myself because she's been amazing. And this has nothing to do with school, but my boyfriend bought me this yesterday. I have been wanting one of these for literally as long as I can remember. So he finally bought me one and I'm really, really excited. It's so pretty. It's real glass. It is from Walmart, um, but it's super cute. Do you like it, Cam? Do you want do you want dog juice to come out of it? Hmm? I know, you're such a good boy. You are. Like, he is just the biggest love bug there ever was. Right, bud? What are you doing? What you doing? I love you. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're such a good boy. But anyway, and I will see you guys first thing in the morning. I'm dressed for the gym, so ignore my appearance aside from my hair. But um, I knew there was something else I wanted to show you guys. I picked up one of these like clicker counter things because I have a girl who is mean and bossy and she bosses other kids around all the time. Like today, full out yelled at my class to stop talking and I was like, I'm sorry, who is in charge in this classroom? Because it sure as heck is not you. So I picked one of these up. So I picked one of these up and I intend to use it that every time she bosses another kid around, I'm just gonna click it because she doesn't believe that she does it as often as she does. She thinks that we are just being mean and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna set it back to zero. Oh, went too far. This is really hard to do with one hand. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So I'm going to take this to work tomorrow. This cost me like $6 on Amazon and hoping this shows her just how often she is bossing other students around. Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 5th. Today marks one year since I moved back east from teaching in Alaska and it's very bittersweet. Um, I posted about it on my personal Facebook yesterday and uh, some of my neighbor was like, oh, you know, you miss it. Would you ever go back? And I was like, honestly, I 110% would. Hello. Okay. Sorry, my ed tech was delivering um, a deep relief roller. I have a essentially a permanently fractured ankle. I have a hole in my ankle bone. And most days I've had this since I was like 10 or 11. So most days I'm used to the excruciating amount of pain that I'm in on a daily basis. But some days are worse than others. Today is one of those days. I took a narcotic level painkiller last night. I'm supposed to take those daily. I literally take them maybe once a year and it's days like today, but I haven't, or well, days like yesterday and today, I haven't had days like this in probably two to three years. So I'm just, I'm struggling today, but thankfully it's an easy day, but it didn't even put a dent in the pain. So she brought me this, hopefully some like natural holistic type thing will help it because there's, it's just, I don't know, but I'm hoping it's the weather. It is gross and just yucky and rainy and I'm hoping it's just the, you know, pressure that is just making it hurt so bad. Um, but anyway, today I am reading Bartholomew and the Ublek with my kiddos. 
Um, today is O Day in our ABC celebration. So we are going to read that. I told them that we are not making slime because the first week of school, they got slime all over my brand new rug. And I told them that because of that, we're not making slime, but we are making slime. Um, I bought a bunch of cornstarch. I bought, um, I showed you guys this last night. I bought a bunch of these containers. That way they can take it home and it is out of my classroom. I don't ever want to see it again. Um, I bought food coloring and it's just, it's going to be a really good time and I'm really excited. So I'm going to read them the book and I'm going to be like, guys, do you really think I would read you this story and we wouldn't make slime? Like what kind of teacher do you think I am? Uh, so we're going to do that and I'm really excited. And then after that, um, we're just going to kind of hang tight. We have rehearsals. They have fine arts night tonight here at school. So they have rehearsals um, from 11 to 11.15 for our ABCs of Cushing, which is like our hometown song. After that, they go to lunch and recess, which due to fine arts night being in the gym, which is also our cafeteria, they're going to eat here in my classroom with me. I voted that we would just have our lunch bunch today since I owed them one from Friday when I wasn't here for my mental health day. And then they come back from lunch and I literally don't have them at all. Uh, they have rehearsal from 1240 to 120. From 120 to 140, they have chorus. And from 140 to 210, they have band. And then from 210 until dismissal, they have library. So I literally am not seeing my kids at all today. Well, in the afternoon. So I'm going to enjoy the morning with them as best as I can. Enjoy our lunch bunch. And then I have an easy peasy afternoon. After school, I am hanging here. My boyfriend has been kind enough to let my dogs out for me and just kind of hang out with them. He's going to clean up my house a little bit. Thank the Lord. Make me dinner. All that good stuff. Um, so <clears throat> I am going to kind of clean house. My table is a mess. My counter right here that you can't see, thank the Lord, is a hot mess. And I'm just going to get everything done. So I'm going to go eat my breakfast, drink my tea, and I will talk to you guys at some point later today. <laughs> it's, it's liquid. No smack Look, it, it actually looks like noodles. Can I touch it? Yeah. This looks slime. If you pick it up, it's not liquid. It's not liquid. It's really hard. It's liquid. Look, I'm making ice cream. Matthew, you can pick it up in your hands and you'll let it go. I have one. I don't know. Look how it is. Matthew, pull your sleeves up. It feels like slime. But it's not. Evan, I'm going to get you a little more water. You definitely need water. <laughs> It's yeah, liquid. No smack Look, it, it actually looks like noodles. Can I touch it? Yeah. This looks slime. If you pick it up, it's not liquid. It's not liquid. It's really hard. Look, I'm ice cream. Matthew, you can pick it up in your hands and you'll let it go. Matthew, pull like your sleeves up. Please. It feels like slime. But it's not Evan, I'm going to get you a little more water. You definitely need water. Hello. It is the end of the day. It is 3.35 and I'm still here. We just got out of a meeting all about our field day. And I am so thankful. Uh, today, I was, my kids were at their rehearsal. My hair looks horrible. Um, my kids were at the rehearsal and my contact, I've had like a faint line, like in the bottom right side of my vision all day. And finally I brought, I always keep, um, contact solution on me in my bag, just in case, because I really do, I have major contact problems just because I have an issue with my eyelid, um, because of a previous brand of contacts that I wore, gave me problems. So anyway, I took it out, cleaned it off and I was like, oh, there's a piece of hair on it. And then because I'm blind as bat, when I held it up like an inch from my eye, I saw that I didn't have a piece of hair on it, it had torn. So I put it back in and I probably could have made it through the night, but my boyfriend was home. So I texted him and I was like, I kind of need my glasses. So bless his soul, he brought me, his brought me my glasses and I can see again. Um, so those ended up in the garbage and yeah, so I'm tired. I'm so exhausted. Um, today was a good day. It was very easy, very out of routine. So I am exhausted. Uh, but when he came, he brought me coffee. So it kind of is helping to perk me up a little bit, but I am here. I have two hours before a little over two hours before my kids start coming in to get ready for the concert. So I have a couple things that I just need to get done around my room and I'm just going to work on that and just kind of 
clean house a little bit. We made a mess today when we made our oobleck, but it was a really, really good day. The kids loved it. Uh, they were asking me how it happened, so I explained the whole non-Newtonian thing, and they were so excited and they were so into it but like the cool thing was it really was just a fun activity and it had some science purpose behind it but I didn't go into it because it's our ABC celebration but they wanted to know the science behind it like they were asking me Miss Morrow how does this happen it's a solid it's a liquid and I was like oh my god they remember everything I taught them so that was just really cool to see but I'm going to enjoy my next two hours I have peanut butter and jelly in case I get hungry. I have two slices of pizza for dinner uh, and my boyfriend made me dinner for when I get home. So I am like 110% set on food. I may just throw the pizza in the fridge. Um, that way I don't have to eat it uh, because I can just eat it tomorrow. So I think if I leave it in the fridge here at work tonight, I'm gonna throw my name on it. But I think if I leave it in the fridge at work, I can just have it tomorrow and I don't have to bring lunch. So I'm going to go do that actually while it's fresh on my brain and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, if I get I like the piece that's flopping right there. Do you see that? Do you see? Um, if I get any good footage of my kids tonight, I will be sure to share it with you. I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys first thing tomorrow morning. friends it is Friday or Friday as I always like to say if you are not new here you know how it goes my hair is a hot mess I drove in with the top off the Jeep this morning while well, the front part of the top and my hair was nice and neat when I left the house this morning but now it's just a hot mess and I do keep like a compact like foldable brush in there and I did come out when I got to work but it's still pretty ragged looking um, but anyway we had our field trip yesterday I did not vlog for you guys because it was complete chaos before um, getting loaded because we had to make groups for the chaperones and my kids to order lunch and get breakfast and we had to get on the bus because the bus got here earlier than we expected so it was just complete chaos but it was so much fun uh, we went to coastal Maine botanical gardens which is a giant um, I think they said they have nearly 300 acres now it was so much fun we hiked four and a half miles um, and the equivalent of 11 stories by the time we were done. So I was pooped. I literally did nothing with them when we came back. They, some legitimately napped. Um, some like really napped, like fell asleep on the floor. Uh, some kind of worked on some projects. Uh, one worked on a project for me. I needed him to like what they call copy draw, but uh, just look at something and then draw it for me. Uh, so it was just a really good time today. It is gorgeous outside um, It is about 60 degrees right now. So it'll probably go up to like high to or mid to high 60s Which for Maine so far is some of the warmest weather we've had we hit 70 degrees yesterday for the first time So that was really nice, uh, but Today we have our ice cream social so as a thank you event for all the parents that just really just go above and beyond we hold a thank you ice cream social for them so my kids hand them out teachers scoop so we have that today um just realized i spelled rehearsal wrong on the board good job um so i'm gonna get that stuff ready i I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna go and get stuff ready for today. I have to clean my desk. It is a hot, hot mess. Um, I, I'll show you how bad it is real quick. So this is stuff that I brought in today. These are all papers that just need to go away and that needs to go back to the lunch lady and this is all stuff that needs to get put away. So I'm gonna sit here and get some of this stuff done and I will check in with you guys later. Hello, clearly I am home. It is Friday afternoon. It is about 5.15 and I am in the process of getting ready to go out with some teacher friends. Uh, the first Friday of every month we go to Name That Tune and this Friday is Name That Tune. So I'm getting ready to go to that. Hi mama. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so yeah, today was a very, very good day. Hi, baby girl. Hi, honey. Oh, you're the best girl. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, so today was a really, really good day. Um, in the morning, my kids did 
uh, that that their their water park uh, stem project they worked on that a little bit today they had to design a water pump system um, at least on paper and it gave us a good chance to Google how water pump systems work so they researched that and then designed their own and then um, after that <laughs> You're such a goon. Um, and then after that, we played Kahoot. So Q for our ABC celebration was quiz day. So I found a bunch of Kahoots and I told them that they were like learning Kahoots. So I was like, you're not actually doing any work. Like you're playing on an iPad. But I just kind of played with them a little bit because the Kahoots were all fun ones. It was like summer based questions. It was um, all about Disney characters. And I did one on soccer. I did one on cats. Like they were just really fun Kahoots. After that, they went out to recess. Um, I took them out maybe three, four minutes early. Stayed out with them until our aide came out. And then after that, um, <laughs> you're a good girl. And then after that, um, we came in. After lunch, I had them work on something, but I don't remember what it was. Um, hold on. What are you doing? She's literally sitting in my lap. Like, <laughs> literally sitting in my lap. Um, so come here you're fine just stay here so after that she wants to look out the window after that do you see this like what is happening right now um after that what did i, I don't remember what i had them do after lunch oh they worked on their abc's um school survival guide and then after that we did our ice cream social so um, for the parents or just volunteers that come into the school and really just go above and beyond, uh, we do an ice cream social for them. So the kids sing them a song and then three of the teachers dish ice cream. So I was one of them because my kids handed out ice cream. So I'm going to go. You guys know the drill. Eating hair today. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, and you're dealing with end of the year crazies too, please drop some motivation down in the comments below and I will see you guys bright and early Monday morning.